Hello, Jody King here from the Jody King YouTube channel. I wanted to take a few minutes today to talk to you about abstract expressionism. And I have to say it a little slowly because it's a bit of a tongue twister, but that's the type of work that I'm doing today. I do a lot of different types of work, but I'm gonna talk about abstract expressionism. And this, uh, these topics have come up recently because I've been teaching uh, a workshop and I've got another one coming up. I've noticed that there's a lot of common mistakes that we make, including me, uh, while creating abstract expression art. And um, so I wanna to talk to you about those mistakes and um, ways that you can get out of them. Now, I have a painting behind me and it's an unfinished piece. Um, so I'll be referring to it because I'm an abstract expressionist, but I'll be going through some of the mistakes that I'm making in it. And um, if you watch the next video, you'll see me hopefully trying to fix those mistakes, no guarantees. All right, so the first mistake um, that we make is abstract expressionism, expressionist, is that sometimes there's just not a lot of expression in our work, and that can be for a few reasons. Number one, we approach the um, our practice, our creative practice with just like not enough energy or um, we, we're, we're scared or we're nervous about making a mistake or we don't know how to start or something like that. And so that's gonna come across in the movements that you make your expression on the canvas itself. And one of the ways that I combat that or two ways that I do it, number one is I meditate every time before I paint. Uh, and that could be as simple as, you know, two minutes or 20 minutes. But what that does is it really like grounds me and it kind of takes away a lot of the distractions maybe that I've been going through from the day. This is really especially important if you um, use uh, cre creativity in the evenings after you've been, you know, maybe working all day or taking care of kids or things like that. It's important just to just take a minute and to ground yourself and I do it through meditation. The other thing that I do is I'll put on some really fun music, really any music, and it really helps to raise my energy level and it helps, you can see that in the brush strokes or in the movements itself. Uh, the second thing that we do is that we tend to make the same strokes in the same direction. So what I mean by that is if you have uh, let's say you have um, any brush really, this brush or even a smaller brush, if you're right-handed and you're on the, your um, canvas, you're gonna tend to make the strokes in the same direction and you're, it's, you, know, you don't even know that you're doing it because that's kind of how you write, that's how we do anything. So one of the ways that you can kind of change up those brush strokes, because you know, I mean, obviously you can go to your other hand, but Sometimes that feels a little awkward. So one way you can do it is just to simply spin the canvas. So you just take it and whether it's on your easel or on your wall or whatever it is, you just simply spin the canvas and that will help. And I, and I spin the canvas, I don't even know, it's like a merry-go-round when I'm painting. Um, and so that's really, really helpful. And it's really helpful for the third mistake as well, which is getting too attached to the painting too early. So in the process, we can get going and we can be like, okay, I like that. I'm really afraid to mess it up. All right, I don't love it, but I like it. And so I'm, I'm, I'm attached to it. And so by spinning the painting, you automatically don't see what you saw before, and it helped to kind of release some of that attachment to it. That's the case in this painting as well. I like it, it's fine, but I don't love it. So where I had it before is I had it like this, and that's like my favorite angle or expression or whatever that I like it at. So when I start to paint on it, um, again, I absolutely am going to need to change that up. Let me just flip it all the way around. I'm going to need to change it up if I'm going to be able to release myself from that one. Uh, all right, so the fourth mistake that we make as in abstract expressionism is we start making things, we're excited and we're doing it, and then we're like, 
what's wrong with it? Well, usually I'm going to go out and say 75% of the time it's that our values in our paint are too similar. So that means that we don't have enough um, change between the light and, and dark. It's generally if you're going to paint um, right out of the jar, right out of the, the tube, the, the paint tube, it's going to be a medium value unless it's white or black or, you know, some really lighter ones. But that's, that's a big, a big, big mistake that we make. So check your values when you're painting. Uh, one way you can do that is to take a picture of the painting, change it to black and white setting of it, and just take a look at it, see if there's enough light and dark in it. And mistake number five is not taking a minute when we're frustrated. So if you're looking at it and you step back and you're like, ah, oh, God, it started out so hopeful and it's so bad and I have no idea what to do now. Well, you need to practice the old sit and stare, which is real. Just take a minute, back away from it, sit down, have a pint of ice cream. <laughs> Kidding, not really. Go for a run uh, or a walk or whatever, but take a minute because if you don't, you're just gonna be painting wet into wet. Um, and that's gonna turn into, like, I love mud when it comes to mixing colors, but it turns into kind of a mud that's really, really hard to work with. So some people like to use a hair dryer um, to, you know, get it to dry more quickly. I personally tend to work on two or three paintings at once so that I can just, like, okay, this one's frustrating me. I'm just gonna set that aside and I'm just gonna go to work on another painting. But sometimes that energy, that frustration that I've had, you know, with where I ended the last painting carries over. So I just kind of need to, to give it a minute. So those are the five things that, the most common things, I mean, there's all kinds of mistakes that I make all the time, but those are the five most common mistakes that I make and uh, most of the way I, when I see when I'm teaching most of the abstract expressionist uh, make. So if you like what you heard or you find it useful, please like and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, stay cool. Oh wait, I forgot. I'm going to be painting on this very painting and you'll see what happens in the next video. Okay, stay cool. Peace out. Bye.